Hi guys and girls, welcome to Zilla Camps. In this week's video, we're gonna investigate the difference uh, in a T75 and a H cream back when mixed with a Vintage 30. Now, we do loads of the H cream back and the Vintage 30 for loads of different styles. It's a styles. really popular mix, isn't it's, it? It's a very, very popular mix. Yeah. Um, they just complement each other really nice yeah. uh, no issues with any volume drops or anything like that mm. uh, and in the fat boy cab which is our biggest seller um oversized two by 12 closed back kind we of should do a bit more on this cab i think on the, on the channel because yeah we should it's our biggest selling cab and it's probably a little bit underrepresented in the videos isn't it so. yeah we mostly use one by 12. Yeah. <laughs> i think in the past when we've done speaker comparisons we'll um, record them all in one by twelves and then mix them in together. Yeah. And we thought, well, well, as as it goes with this in this cab, the customer was asking us, um, what's the difference between the T seventy five and the H cream bag? Because mm -hmm. they've got really good experiences in mixing both of them. And I was trying to explain it, and then I said, you know what, this would make a really good video anyway, and you're going to get to hear what these speakers sound like in your cab. So let's cool. do it. Yeah. Um, a little bit of info on the speakers vintage 30 everyone knows what it is sort of it's about 30 years old now but it's a you'd class it as a contemporary sounding kind of almost every man speaker yeah it's, it's really ubiquitous in, in rock since the 80s really isn't it and it's um even like boutique camps use them and really really heavy stuff yeah regularly use it's a really speakers, flexible yeah. speaker that you can push in loads loads of directions yeah. some people complain about the mid-range but i think that's where most of your tone is anyway isn't it yeah it just gives you something to play with in my opinion uh t75 is a speaker you'll find in um the kind of standard marshall um 4 by 12s yeah certainly throughout the 90s and yeah later uh, um they they used to get a bit of flack didn't they but now more and more people people seem to be revisiting them and yeah they're getting good results they're a really good speaker i think um the trouble with it is sometimes it might be used in the wrong place. Mm. I don't think it's as much of an everyman kind of speaker. I think you kind of need to find the right place for it. But it's, I think it's got a kind of a bit of a reputation online as, I know, underrepresented in how what you can do. Mm. I think and the H screen back just great, relatively new speaker, big magnet. Yeah, so yeah, H screen back was like a, a modern redesign of the old H greenbacks yeah, yeah but higher power yeah, yeah. so um, you'd find them in 4 by 12s in the past uh, the H that is mm. when people were using 100 watt heads everyone now seems to be going to smaller cabs so 112s 212s yeah. that higher power just allows you to use some of that H but with a you know higher powered head right so what I did here was a combination of two ways of shooting this out really um Firstly, I did some recordings into the computer and that allows me to reamp the setup then. So basically we're getting the same performance, the same amp, the same mic positions. All that's changing is the speaker in the cab. So, yeah. so we can flip between that and the edit. That'll come up now. Uh, and then after that, um, I just did a little bit of sort of jamming really, um, just to get a little bit of feel of what they sort of sound like and under under the fingers, a little bit less clinical, I guess. But in these kind of videos, there's um, there's a few ways of of demonstrating what speakers can do mm. um, when you're mixing them and th and what what the speakers can do in general. Um, they both have their drawbacks, and yeah. both have their advantages. It's nice to be able to do fast changes between like chopping between yeah. them so you can hear what the difference that speaker makes mm. but the downside of that is i think feel sometimes it loses a little bit of the life yeah uh, it's not the most interesting thing to listen to as a piece of music but yeah. yeah you get to hear what it sounds like next to each other so we try and put the best of both worlds in this one yeah, yeah um amps i used um what, what is, is this a 78 JMP 100 watt? I don't know what the year is actually. It's new to us and it sounds absolutely mega, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's class. Cool. Most of the JMPs we've got are 50 watts. Yeah. Um, and the opportunity to get 100 watt came in. I think you said that the customer for this amp was going for ACDC kind of sounds. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he, he wanted to hear... Um, he's a tutor at one of the big 
um, colleges in LA. Mm. So I assume he's actually he's pretty good. But he, <laughs> he wanted to hear how um, how it's sounding in that kind of situation. He, he finds it easier to analyze. Like yeah. what the speakers are doing and what the cabs doing. It's a great style for hearing what things are doing. I think, isn't it? And it's uh, those big open yeah. cards, the big. So I've yeah, you can hear what I've ripped off here with this clip, and um, <laughs> yeah. hopefully the amp did a pretty good job of that sound. Yeah. And then for the clean and the heavier stuff, I used the um, Mesa Boogie Stiletto Juice, which is uh, yeah, again, just another really it's great. It's great. It's yeah. kind of got that vibe of Hot Rod and Marshall, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of like a JMP, but more extreme cleaner and yeah. heavier as well so okay so as always uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like what you're hearing and seeing in these videos we've got loads of these kind of things yeah. that we've previously done loads coming out we'll try and get a couple of videos out each week um, leave us a comment with your views on what you think of the speakers your experience with them I think you're all going to have used the Vintage 30 and probably T75 at some point. So let us know how you get on with them. Uh, hit the like if you like the video. Don't hit the dislike if you don't like it. <laughs> and hit the notification button as well to see our new videos when they come out. Thank you.